the intent of the law is that uh, a woman who is pregnant and has her child and for whatever reason decides that she cannot take care of the child and is within the age range of up to 60 days that she can literally walk into a hospital, walk into a fire station or where there is an EMT 24 hours a day that has a sign hanging on the wall and can hand that child over and that child will be taken care of, put into an adoptive foster home and then adopted. Uh, the procedure is very specific and that's why we worked on it for several legislative sessions because anytime there's something new you always have to protect it. But the intent of the law that Dr. John Richardson put together and myself that carried for him was that there be no questions asked and that child be taken care of and that you're saving not only the life of the child but the life of the mother. And that is the, that is the intent of the law and that's what we expect for the state agencies to carry out. But the main thing that this law is for is that instance to where there is someone that is so desperate and for whatever reason cannot take care of their child and we want to make sure we save the child and save the mother and that is the intent of the law and I think it's something that everyone supports and as far as looking for the mother uh, I, that is not the intent of the law at all. The intent is to save her and to save the child and make sure that child has an adoptive home and lives. The law is very specific about not looking for the mother. If a child is uh, put up for adoption, there still is a, the time frame until the adoption's final that the father can come in and claim paternity. None of that changed. A mother did relinquish her child and then she decided a week or so later that she wanted a child back and she went through the process of showing that you know she was a fit mother, her household and she had support to help her and she did receive her child back. 